everybody else was trying to do is develop a 3D system that which was mechanical. What we tried to do was trick the brain. How do people process visual data into their mind? This is an unknown factor, and we're peeling up just a little at the edge of this particular thing. This is the most fascinating academic discovery I think I've been involved with in 30 years of messing around in this kind of stuff. The messing around of three University of South Carolina professors looks to be a major breakthrough in 3D technology with broad application in numerous fields. Their invention was not developed on campus, but in Professor Jones' small garage. And we built a lot of it by hand. The system is very simple, uses a lot of standard equipment. The encoding of the information on the tape takes place outdoor to the camera system and separate from the recorder. In other words, we don't have to play around with the insides of a camera. We don't have to play around with the insides of the recorder. It's all something that can be done through wires and cables and sending signals through a processor. This box is the processor, the key to their still secret technique. The system is unique in that it is on television, your home set, with no special added equipment. You can use your own tape recorder, your own home television set. You don't have to wear glasses. As a matter of fact, you can even cover up one eye, look at the screen, and you still see it. These are early, unrefined examples of their new 3D technique. They call it the Visual Image Depth Enhancement Process, or VisiDepth for short. Using the process, a two-dimensional diagram takes on a new life of its own. While VisiDepth has great potential for the entertainment media, Dr. McLaren is most excited about its application to science and education. He foresees VisiDepth being used to enhance images generated by X-rays, sonar, and computers. The scientists believe, however, that the most immediate use of their 3D process probably will be for television sports events. Without 3D, player position is often misleading. With it, the game takes on a whole new dimension.